Well, hello everybody. We're out here in Danville, Missouri. Uh, one of our viewers told us we ought to come out here and check out this campground. It's called the Lazy Day Campground. Uh, I hope you can hear me, it's really windy. Uh, we've been getting like 30 mile per hour gusts. And well, after our little experience, you can imagine what it's like for us. Every time we get a big gust that hits the camper, everybody's like, <laughs> we're we're still a little sensitive to to having wind blowing but we're doing okay everything's working all right uh nice little campground here thank you so much for for recommending this place uh really a nice little campground out here so anyway we're going to give you a little tour of the place and let you see what this campground looks like so here's the entrance coming into the lazy day campground a uh, nice little place to stay and one interesting fact is that they have this um, wall that you can write your name on kind of just a, a check-in thing it's kind of interesting to take a look at that and this takes you into the laundry room and it's also the bathroom area also in the showers nice setup that they have there you can see there is coin operated uh, machines everything in good working order it's kind of interesting to see all the writing that they have on the floor and also uh, just the way they upkeep everything I figure there has to be a lot of upkeep to be able to uh, keep all of those writing and everything that's on the floor they have a, a good sense of humor the folks that run this place and as you look around you, you their their personality their sense of humor shows and you'll see as we go into the men's room some of the personality that they have starts to show in these areas I thought it was really interesting they've got the route 66 counter there and all the license plates that's in the men's room I thought it was pretty neat the way they've got everything painted like it's wood planks that are on all of the doors but the restroom is very clean very neat very well kept you can tell that they stay on top of it plenty of handicap accessible areas definitely the first restroom I've ever been in where they have a front end of a pickup truck crashing through the wall nice showers you got to know that you're going to be maintaining something real well if you put in white because white will show everything and these are really very clean tile is real shiny take real good care of it we'll be going out and uh, we'll show you how the women's restroom is set up I thought this was pretty funny the way they've got the ladies painted on the doors of the stalls I thought that was pretty interesting and kind of shows the the personality of the owners that that run it it has a beach theme as you can see in there I thought it was done real well nice and clean and just like in the men's restroom the, the shower stalls are white tile all nice and clean and shiny nice handicap accessible areas It's also pretty neat how when you open the door, you got the back of the lady on the other side of the door. And then you get to sit under your own palm tree. A 
we'll go back outside now and we'll take a look at what the RV sites look like. They're nice and level and flat. You can see it's on kind of a hilly ground, but they've terraced off all the RV sites and not just where the RV sits, but you've got plenty of room around it, like where your uh, picnic tables go. You've, you've got plenty of room around there. You can see how, how they have it terraced off. Really take pride in the place. Really looks very nice. We had no problems pulling right in, setting up, easy to level. Didn't take much. This is their meeting room that they have. This is the outside going up to the front of it. It's a nice little area that they have set up there where you can sit outside. Got a little sink, a little bar area there to the side. When you go inside, you'll see that there's a kitchen. So if you're gonna have a little potluck or something like that going on, maybe a, a big family reunion, little Raleigh's, they've got the room for you there. Pretty nice little setup. And this I pretty much put in just as a reminder to myself because I keep forgetting to mention when a place offers propane for sale, but they have it for you in case you need it. Here's a little fishing pond that they have. They also have a fishing lake. Uh, it's just a little trail you hike down to get to the fishing lake. This little pond is right there at the, at the park. It's real close. I believe that's a catch and release. And this is their entrance into their dog park. It's all a fenced in area, plenty of room for the dogs to run. You can see they've got water set up there so that you can keep your dog hydrated as it runs around. It's a nice little setup for a dog park. I thought this was pretty interesting. They put these buildings around and inside this one is all the pump equipment and everything that's for the swimming pool. And that's just a really a nice way of hiding all of that. Same thing with this. Uh, I don't know what they're uh, using this to to conceal maybe it may be a well pump or something like that but it kind of adds a little whimsy to everything and it just looks a whole lot better than having an old pump well head sticking up out of the ground thought that was a real neat way of doing things This is the walking path that takes you to the swimming pool area. And you can see that they've got nice landscaping along the edges and just little things scattered around. Some of the, the old hand pump and just things around just to make it a little interesting and add a little interest to the area. And as always, they got little things around it, kind of just lets their personality show. I thought it was interesting going up through this way that to use as an edging, they used wine bottles, which is very fitting for the area because it's just right outside of Herman where all the wineries are at. So I thought that was really neat that they did that. Nice little sitting area, just right outside the pool. Swimming pool was closed because of it being that time of the year, but I'm sure that if their swimming pool looks like the rest of the area, I'm sure it's very well maintained. As you can see, there's something just all over with little decorations, little lawn ornaments, that type of thing. 
I thought this was really interesting that they have the little totem pole with dog different dog heads on the totem pole they had a couple different things like that there and you kind of have to look around for for stuff and see you know what all the different things that they have this is some of the landscaping that was around the pool area and I found this little guy hiding out right on the edge of the woods so you just got to look around so anyway that's our trip at the lazy day uh, campground nice place thank you very much for the recommendation as to going and checking it out so until next time we'll see you when we get to our next stop I'll go out there have a good time we'll see you later thanks for watching bye bye